Namaste everyone. I am here to present on the topic in vitro study of an eukaryotic fungus Saprolegnia. The Saprolegnia belongs to kingdom Chromifta, which is a unique group of eukaryotic forms treated under fungi-like organisms. It is commonly called as water mold or cotton mold. The genus Saprolegnia belongs to phylum Umycota, other Saprolegnians and family Saprolegniaceae. Generally, this fungus is a fresh water and juice pouring form. It may, be it may be saprophytic or parasitic to fishes, crustaceans and mollusks. The infection caused by this fungus is called oomycosis. The fungus reproduces sexually as well as asexually. And the fungus have deployed life cycle which include both asexual and sexual reproduction. The asexual reproduction is by means of development of spores called juice spores and the juice spores are produced in a cylindrical vesicles produced on long sporangiophores pores while the sexual reproduction is by means of male and female gametangium. The male and female gametangium you can call anthridium and ogonia they unite and fuse together fertilization tubes and as a result they produce zygote and this zygote finally we can call oosphere. So during the course of fifth study uh, we can see here this Jewish forangiums that it produces enormous Jewish spores and the Jewish spores are liberated and they are accumulated on the tip of Jewish forangiums and uh, here we can see this, this tiny black juice spores are swarming in water. So, so this is what we have recorded during our study of this liberation of this juice spores. This is the another video which we have recorded. So we can see that in this vesicles, this juice forangiums, inside this juice forangium, the numerous juice spores are moving either and there and many of them are accumulated on the tip of these juice forangiums. This cloudy mass is nothing. These are the accumulated dense mass of juice spores. And after this liberation, the, the juice spores can, can move in water and they can move freely in water streams. This is the another video which we have recorded during the course of study. So this we can see here that the enormous juice spores are moving in water. They are gliding and swimming in water in in vitro conditions what we have performed in our experiments. So these are the swarming of juice spores in the waters in in vitro conditions. This is the another life cycles of this saprolegnia we, we have recorded. So this is the nothing. These are the globe of juice spores and the globe of juice spores are the secondary juice spores. The secondary juice spores they are producing numerous fine cilia around this uh, globe fruit body and these cilia they will move in water and they want to search the some substrate from where they can attach and adhere and they can germinate and finally they can produce new farm. And during the course of history, very, a very interesting uh, protozoan uh, which we found that this verticella, this uh, genus of this protozoa, it is associated with this saprolegnia fruit body. Here we can see that this is the tubular structures of this saprolegnia filament and this is the body of this uh, verticella, this protozoan. Here in the mouth region we can see that enormous cilia is surrounding towards the mouth and the cilia uh, once they want to feed so they will produce some whirlpool that uh, water waves so that the food materials can trap inside this throat with the help of this flagella and this flagella grab these food materials and here we can see these food materials and food bicules inside these vesicles. Here is the very tender this filamentous structure. This is the myosin of this um, one 
body part of this verticella. This is the another uh, this video. What is this verticella? Uh, this is the filamentous. We can see here that yellow is brown structures. That is the nothing. This is the filamentous part of this uh, sepulagnia. This is tubular structures. This is the IP. And along with this hyphae, we can see that here is the myosin that uh, verticella is attached with this uh, help of this foot, foot, foot cell along with the um, body of the sepulagnia and this vesicles of this verticella. We can see this, this all these blackish structures, they are attached with this myosin, this is filamentous, is thing like structures. So this is what we have recorded, this association of verticella along with this sepulagnia. So, um, after this, we have recorded this entire life cycle of the sepulagnia. This is uh, interesting Jewish forms of this life. So, here we can see that this plate, in plate, uh, we have put some baits and the baits uh, we can use uh, that uh, hemp, boiled hemp seed. And sometimes we are using uh, this um, uh, insect baits. Here we can see this, this is the baits and along with the baits, the, the thick sporangial hyphae is produced. And here we can see this very dense mass of this sporangial uh, hyphae is produced through these beds. This is the entire you know, development of these juice sporangiums. Enormous juice sporangium development is here in this in vitro conditions. And if you see this clearly, this tubular structure is filled with these juice spores. And this is the pure cultures of this alloys, watery mass of this cottony mass in the cultures. This is the pure cultures of this sepulagnia. And apart from this, we have studied that you know, captured this entire this you non know, sexual and asexual uh, bodies of the sepulagnia. So here, this globose structures, these are the nothing. These are the female gametangium. We can call this ugonia. And here, this one ugonia, it is colonized by this female and uh, uh, sorry, male anthidium. This is the male gametangium, which and this in fact this ugonia. And finally, after this. Uh, fusion of this ugonia and anthidia. Here we can see the, there is a very thick wall of these globus structures. So this is the nothing. This is the fertilized result of this uh, anthidia and ugonia. Uh, we can say that this is the zygote. And this zygote, once it gets this favorable condition, it will germinate and it will produce new one. Here they sometimes uh, the spores we draw their flagella. We can say that these are the globus hyaline insisted juice spores. These spores, after the insistment, they can germinate once they get the favorable condition. So here, very clearly, we can see the juice spores is producing tubular structure. This is the germ tube, and this is the uh, 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 photograph of this uh, pyriform, uh, the kidney-shaped juice spores. And these spores is having very high-lying, flat, tender flagella, and this flagella is nothing. It is providing that ambiguity uh, uh, in water. So that the juice spores can move in water stream from one place to the another place. This, these are the all the juice sporangiums uh, developed uh, by the sepulagnia, and this is the filamentous juice uh, juice sporangium. And from this filamentous juice sporangiums, here we can see that inside this base, filamentous tubular structures, the juice spores are filled. And once they have liberated, so we can see that juice spores are adhered with the after liberation with the wall, wall of these juice sporangiums. So this is what we have recorded entire life cycles. And apart from this, here we can see these lamentous like lamentous structures. These lamentous structures, these are the nothings. These are the vegetative modifications of this sepulagnia hyphae. So these gymni they can germinate and they can also produce vegetatively, and they can develop entire this um, uh, juice sporangium as well as all these structures in 3D and ugonia. In the developmental conditions. So as a result, finally, uh, after this study of in vitro condition of this entire life cycle of the sepulagnia, so we have published this fungus uh, from India as a new uh, new record as a sepulagnia of ferrex. And this, apart from this morphotaxonomy, we have uh, followed this molecular analysis of this sepulagnia. So we, uh, for the molecular analysis, we have done this ITS to gene region of this ITS and LSU and this the, the sequence is deposited in NCBI. Thanks.